Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Productivity 2000 PLC PLC software installation. Now the Productivity 2000 series PLC uses the Productivity Suite software. The software can be downloaded free of charge. It is a full package without restrictions or limitations. The latest Productivity software or Suite software version is 3.10.21. Automation Direct has put over 20 years of programmable logic software experience along with customer suggestions and feedback into this programming package. It has great features that we will be exploring as we program our Productivity 2000 series PLC. This is the same software that we uh, will program the entire Productivity series of programmable logic controllers. And that series includes the Productivity uh, 1000, the P1540 and P1550, and these are micro, micro or stackable micro PLC, or they can be called a P1 or a P1000. Then we have our Productivity P or 2000 uh, controller, which is a micro modular programmable um, programmable controller. It can be called a P2 or a P2000. Then we have our Productivity 3000 or P3, and it's a modular programmable controller, or again, we call it a P3 or a P3000. We will be installing and reviewing the Productivity Suite software version 3.10.1 or 2.1. So, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links to the the description below will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the first thing we will do is we will go to our website where we can download the software. And it's right here. So what we do is, uh, again, the links will be put in the description below. We can hit the download button. And when we do, it asks for our uh, email address. When we type it in, And then what we can do is just copy and paste that. And then we can hit subscribe to receive notifications about software updates, etc. And then we just hit download. And then the program will start downloading. Now, again, what we should do is also check to make sure that our system that we're going to actually makes the requirements. So we look at system requirements. Under hardware, you will see that we need a processor 2.6 gigabyte gigahertz or more. Multi-core is recommended. Our memory, we have 8 gigabyte recommended. And our storage is 2 gigabyte um, storage space that's required. We don't really need any uh, video requirement. And also we need a USB or Ethernet connection required to transfer the project to the PL, uh, CPU unit on the PLC. Our supporting operating systems. Windows 10, uh, thir uh, also Windows 8.1, 64-bit and 32-bit, and Windows 8, 32-bit and 64-bit. So there, that's our, our requirements. Now, I've already downloaded this, and what it comes is a zip file. It's a Pro Suite 3.10.2.1. And if we right click on this, we have to extract, extract it. So we hit extract all. And then we will extract, extract this. So after we have it extracted, you will see that we have one file that we now enter in order to start our installation. So we double click on it and this will actually start the installation of our Productivity Suite programming package. There we go. We can start off with a welcome message. We'll hit next. Now we have the end user license agreement. We must, um, you can read through that, but you must actually accept this to continue. We'll hit next. Now we can put, we can place what folder we want to put in, or if we have an existing 
um, and this is an upgrade to our existing installation of our software. And we can click this and click the uh, uh, installation file that we want updated. In our case here, we're going to put it on our D drive. Or we could browse and find the location that we want to install it. And we'll hit next. So it tells me everything that's ready to go. And we'll just hit install. So now it's installing the package onto our computer. And it's just about done. Here we go. Then we come up with our release notes and bugs and fixes, etc. Then we hit next. And now our software has completed correctly. And we'll hit done. So what was actually happened, let me just close this down now, is we um, are currently, okay, we're sold down on that, we'll exit from that, there we go. And what it does is actually put a icon on your computer screen. And this is the icon for our software package. If we double click it, we can actually start our package. And you'll see the first thing it does is start off with um, any previous projects, projects that you're working on. It'll open up. So we're just going to close that down. That's just a quick reference for uh, later. What you'll see is um, when you want to know a quick status of where you were before. And here's the actual package. It just size the window we have here. And we have several different uh, items on this screen. You see, here's the main screen where we actually will do our programming. Then we have our, uh, this is the user interface. Then we have our applications tools. This is the um, quick access to many of the advanced features. And you can roll over each topic to see there is corresponding dialog box of what it actually will do. So, and then we have over here on the right, we have our instructions. Then we have our task manager and any problem reporting there. Um, what we can also do is we could also um, make up our own um, layout and we can go to tag database and we can move that tag database into the top part here and then we can lock it down. We can also then show the desktop which is right here and you can see now my icons, there's my instruction sets over here, my applications, my tag database is all right here. So I can play around and in my uh, problem report here. This means I can get more real estate onto my desktop as I program um, these controllers. And then once we're done with that, we can just hit exit to exit that out. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.